Hey, what's up guys? I'm over here and welcome back to a brand new video here today. And welcome back to another F1 2018 game experiment video here today on the channel. We did the no drag experiment quite recently, which was a pretty good success. We it considerably improved the Williams car, but in the comments below of that video, there's some comments about why don't we try negative drag, Arav? Um, I mean, I didn't go with it in that video per se, because when you say it, negative drag, it just sounds like it's going to break the game and something's going to go wrong, because effectively, negative Negative drag would effectively just be thrust. It would just be thrusting the car forward in some magical realm. So this really is an experiment you can only do on the F1 game because this literally is physically... I mean, no drag is physically impossible. This is even more physically impossible in the real world. Uh, having invisible thrust powering the car forward every time we're driving down a straight. Even in the middle of the corner, there's going to be thrust. So what we've done is we've gone into the game files and we made the drag minus 100. Now, put this into perspective, usually the drag is at like, you know, 0 0.98, you know, or 6, 7, uh, 5, 7, 6, 7, 7, 8, whatever. We put it to 0. We're now going to negative. We're not just doing negative 1 or negative 9.8. We're doing negative 100 because I thought we may as well go in the deep end, get amongst it, and really just push the game to the limits. I think this car is going to start flying. I think it might be a little like the weightless car, but in a bit more of a, I don't know, like a push forward kind of way, like the weightless car glitched up and down, I feel like this might glitch forward and backwards, so let's see about that, um, I haven't tested it out, so I really don't know what it's going to be like, but we're just going to go straight into it then, poor Ricard, um, because that's our usual testing area, and so uh, well, let's see, this is going to be an F1, what happens to an F1 car when there's negative drag, a question, a question that no one, a question that no one or their mothers asked, apart from that one guy in the cons below, so if you do end up enjoying the video, be sure to smash that good life button. Let's get into it. Right, I'm trying to practice session out before. I could do it on time trial. I'm just going to do practice session and see, first of all, if the game breaks. If it doesn't, uh, then per usual, we'll try and race the AI and see what kind of lap or performance we can get out of the car. But let's just see if it survives practice, really, because I have a feeling this may very well go like the weightless car and might break the game if I go too high or, I guess, low. That Oh, that's messed up my mind because we're going negative drag, so it's technically low value, but it's obviously a high numeric value, if that may... No, that doesn't make sense. Okay, you know what? Even I'm confused down on the right-hand side. I just want to get on with it. Let's go. Oh, it's taken a while to load. I can't lie. I'm just looking at the black screen right now. Oh, my God! Well, that's certainly a way to wake up in the morning. Jesus! Oh, my... Oh, oh, this is it! Wait, hang on. We actually flew there. We actually flew. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's just Arav and his F1 experiments all over again. <laughs> Look at that. Go! That is like... That is literally a plane on wheels. That is going at like 500 million miles per hour. And then look at that! It actually took off! It starts flying! That is proof. Formula 1 cars went upside down. They are basically able to fly. The downforce turns into lift. And it basically just takes off. Action for once in my life, I can put in the title. Making a Formula 1 car fly. And it's not just horrible clickbait. Oh, God. I'm not touching the throttle, by the way. I'm not. Look at the bottom right. There is no throttle here. This car is doing that all by itself. I tap the throttle, and because there's no drag and actually positive thrust, any... Look, I didn't even touch anything. I'm just sitting here talking to my audience, and you'll go... What are we trying to do? Are we trying to, like, enter a new parallel universe by spinning around and making a crop circle at Paul Ricard? This ain't... This not... This... Stop it. Break. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, the brake worked really well, Arab. That did a lot. Yeah, it's clear. Oh, look at that. The speed's going down infinitely. Oh, you know what? I reckon Ken Block would be really proud of my drift here. Because, uh, look at this. I have literally turned the white cement black, pretty much. Where is uh, a good camera angle to be? Oh, my God. Okay. I'm sorry if this gives anyone an epilepsy fit. Because this is even making my eyes a little bit booky. But, um, wow, we're really wearing out that ground. We're, we're, we're going so quickly, I feel like the ground can't even render in fast enough, so it looks like it's in 360p compared to the car. Right, can we stop this at some point? If I accelerate and turn, is that going to do anything? No? No, it's not. Okay, uh, uh, ladies and gents, I think we need to go back to the drawing board and maybe turn down the negative drag by just a bit. You know, maybe go minus 10 rather than minus 100 to make it a, a little bit semi-drivable. 
Right, back to the drawing board. We're going to go for uh, minus, minus 10. A factor of 10 down. Does that mean that the flight will be 10 times less? I don't know, but factor of 10. Let's try that out. If all else fails, we'll go down to minus 1, which I feel like should just be drivable. But uh, if we can do minus 10, that'd be ideal. Right, back at it again. Paul Ricard, minus 10. Let's rock. Let's see. Is it any better? It takes a while to load in. I feel like the game literally has to comprehend the negative drag cap. It's, it's not done a thing, really. As it, it's, it's not any better. In fact, we're going backwards on track. We're not even getting to the five red lights. What is that? What? Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, can I turn? No, this has the turning of the literal Titanic. And I've actually flown further. I've flown further than I did with minus 100 there, I'm pretty sure. When you say to Williams that the 2019 regulation is going to make the downforce even less at the front end, they, they, they scream in pain because they know their car is always already low downforce enough that with enough low downforce, their car will begin to do this in pre-season testing. Yep, yep, that looks about right. I think we all have to come together and just appreciate what we're seeing on screen right now. This is a literal, actual flying car. Like, it's actually staying stable. The guy is turning in the air. He, it looks majestic. I also just realised that is really dangerous. We nearly killed Lance Stroll with his pole. It's now time for negative one. Negative ten didn't even work, so it's it's Hopefully this is it. Or you know what? We'll go minus nine eight. You know, really go for the realistic value, but just with a negative sign on it. So minus zero point nine eight. Hopefully semi drivable in some sort of fashion to just complete one lap maybe against AI. That's all I'm hoping. That's all I'm asking, F1 gods. Just allow us to finish a lap. All right, please. Please work this time. It's it's still taking a long while to load in. This isn't a good sign. Oh, you know what? You know what? That's semi drivable. That looks okay, you know? That looks like it's doable. How's it going in a straight line? Oh, it's a bit quick. It's the, the steering feels like jelly. But it's drivable. And tell you what, once we get up to speed here, seventh gear. Oh, oh, we're bowling along here. Okay, it's got potential. It's a little bit slow in the opening gears. But then when we get to seventh gear, that's when the power really kicks in. The no drag, the negative drag comes into its own, starts screen freezing. Here we got a look at that. 303 miles per hour at the French GP. That is sensational. And look at this cornering. Oh, we've taken out Verstappen. He probably deserved it. Right, it's time for the Williams to attack the grids with negative drag. The car is a bit undrivable. Want to get the seventh gear, but I feel like if we just go in a straight line, it will be okay. So let's take it. It's nice and easy. Slow up through the gears, you know, take it calm in first and second gear. And then really wait for the back end straight at Paul Ricard. I feel like seventh gear will be here. I mean, already we're bowling along here, but nice and slow. Slow down. No, this uh, slow down's not in the vocab. I basically took them out like bowling ball pins. That's okay. We'll continue on with somehow uh, Force India's in the lead. I don't know how that's a cut. I think I took out the entire top field. My bad. Right, slow down. Easy. There we go. Second gear is it. It may look slow right now. That's because it is. The car doesn't feel too great. It is literally like I'm driving on jelly like through it like the wheels are having to cut through jelly but here we go you're ready for this now the main straight watch where that force cinder is here we go seventh gear eighth gear goodbye sir goodbye have a merry go round I'm not even there's no point even trying to break for that so there we go it's a miracle the Williams car has never been this quick apart from when it was quick before but obviously that's just all the experiments and now for some reason I can't go down to seventh gear this is an issue it's definitely not an auto gears my car I've broken the car the car went so quick the, g the gear jammed into eighth and I can't go down now this is not good we're going 90 and we're doing eight and we're doing eight if we're doing it eighth gear this is not what's meant to be happening. We're going to get beat by the Force India. No, no, don't, don't, don't push me around. I know I'm lightweight and I've got no drag. Don't push me around. No, what's happening? It's all gone wrong. This car's meant to be quick, not slow. Oh, cock. Well, there you have it, guys. That is the negative drag Formula One car. An absolute, uh, I was going to say masterpiece. It's it's far from a masterpiece. It It's so slow in, in the lower speeds and it speeds up again. It flies all on its own and it's just generally terrible. But there you go. That is another F1 experiment in the books, especially considered by one of you guys in the comments below of the previous video. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you are new around here, you can subscribe for weekly Formula 1 content. I've been over. I hope you enjoyed the today. Goodbye. I'm going to call this one a failure because look at this. This is Why is it this slow? Look at this. What is...
is going on? My man could drive faster. <laughs>